What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Slime for Ant Bucket TV, bringing you the review on the 106 and Park app. It's a cool app, pretty cool. I must admit, if you're a 106 and Park fan, I definitely say go out and get this app. It's free. So right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into my little phone view and show you how the app actually works. And after that, I'll come back with my final thought of the app. So here's the actual app for 106 and Park. This is how it loads up. So this is the 106 and Park app's home screen. As you can see at the top right hand corner, that is the countdown for the next episode. So 20 minutes, 55 seconds. You have the vote button where you can click it and vote. It has a cool feature when you click it, you can select your art, you select the video you want, and then you get to like scratch it to see how many votes you can get. It's pretty fun. Um, Twitter, the tweet wall, did you know a few questions? The artist probably Kelly Rowland for today. And Freestyle Friday Recap. Next button is Code 106. And this is more of, you know, you catch the code and it's like a game you can play. It's a camera and things like that. I'm not going to get too detailed into that. Next is the tweet wall. And this is where 106, you know 106 and Park loves to tweet. All right. So I can follow 106 and Park. Uh, let's cancel for that for right now. And um, this is the Twitter wall. All right. Everybody's tweeting about 106 or something about 106 or what they liked on 106 and Park, okay? The next button is the videos. These are all videos that 106 and Park has taken from the episodes. I'll put them on here so that way you can view your favorite clips from episodes, past episodes that you really like and want to re-see on the go, okay? Next we have photos. You can see some photos from 106 and Park, the artist button, and in this section it basically gives you all the artists. All right, so who we got here? Alicia Keys, she's my favorite, so let's click on that one. Let it load for a quick second. So here's Alicia Keys, and you can hit a profile, and it'll tell you about Alicia Keys, recent articles about her. It'll also actually give you the artist's real Twitter name if they are provided. So there's Alicia Keys' real Twitter name, and these are all tweets recently about her. Um, they have photos of Alicia Keys as well. It's pretty cool. Like you can just move them around. It's pretty dope. Uh, videos. So 106 and Park, all the videos she's been on. And I think this is like the subscribe button. You can subscribe to have information about her sent to you. All right, let's go back. Uh, ticket requests, if you want to request tickets for the show, settings. And that's basically it. And you can hit the vote button to vote for your favorite artist on 106 and Park. All right, so let's just hit this, uh, who we got here? Chris Brown. All right. Each scratch is a vote. You've got five seconds. Go. And so basically what you do is I hold faster, it. Faster. Really? That's all you got? And that's how you vote for your video to be played on 106 and Park. All right. So let's get back into the review. All right, YouTube. So now we're back. What'd you think? Pretty cool. Can't beat it for free. Especially if you like to go out there and vote on 106 and Park. You can do it on the go now. Get your fix of your videos, get all the latest info on your artists, tweet about them, Twitter wall, video, all of that, all of that good stuff in that 106 and Park app. Me personally, I give it a thumbs up. I recommend it. If I had to give it five, like, you know, a five star rating, I give it a 4.75 stars. And you can't even do a 0.75 stars, it's always a 0.5. So, and Bucket TV here with different. It's 4.75 stars for that app. So, this has been your boy, Son for M Bucket TV. Just giving you a quick review on that 106 and Park app. Terrence and Ross, keep doing your thing. Holla at your boy. Peace.